Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro editing tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can import a time lapse into GoPro Studios 2.0. So I've got GoPro Studios open, and I've got a time lapse. I got a file folder, and it contains 2,149 images of uh, the time lapse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them, Control A, and then I'm going to click and drag them into um, the import side of GoPro Studios. So this is in step one. It's the import and convert step. And then I can just open it up and you can see here now the uh, time lapse has been imported and it just sits there and it's behaving like a video clip. The software thinks that it's a one minute and 11 second video clip. Uh, so you can hit play and you can see now that it plays through just like a normal video would. And if you're thinking that there's a flickering going on here in the video, it's because there is. That was caused by um, the camera trying to uh, correct for the exposure and it changing depending on how the light was because it was very uh, fickle light with the clouds there. So that was why the beginning of that video clip was a little bit um, flickery. Now, if we add this clip here to our conversion list, It'll come up the full length of it. We can hit convert. It'll get processed. Now it'll probably be very slow processing because these are very large images. The image files here are about twice that of the, or four times the size of a normal GoPro video. So it'll take a while to, et, to render it out. So as soon as you've completed rendering the video, you can go ahead and jump into step two. And then you can see that your video clip will be or the time lapse, which is now rendered as a video clip, will be down here, and it behaves just like a normal video clip. So you can drag it in anywhere you want. You can see this is my edit down here, so you can drag it on top of anything you want, and it'll just pop in there. You can hit play, and it'll play through just like normal. Um, yeah, so once you render them, they behave just like video clips. It's very easy to import them, and um, yeah, importing time lapses into GoPro Studios 2.0 is very, very simple, and um, playing around with them inside it, they behave just like video clips once they've been imported. Thank you guys for watching this another GoPro editing tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe and check out my channel for lots more videos. Until next time, guys, like the video and thanks for watching.